I am going to put the fat end again down around the cupcake bottom edge and I am going to wiggle this back and forth to create the sensation of a whole bunch of clustered petals. Hi everyone, Natalie Madison here of Artisan Cakes and today we're making pretty floral cupcakes. This is a Cupcakes Fundamentals class, something that anyone can tackle. And I'm going to show you how to make beautiful floral cupcakes with just a few tips and very simple techniques. We are going to begin with one of my favorites, which is a rosette. And I'm going to use this tip number 2D, but any large star tip can be used. Um, one note, the tip is fairly closed. If you get a tip that is really closed and it tends to shred your flower, uh, I'll explain that more in detail later, you can use something like this and it's called a tip saver and it allows you to press up into the tip and open those tines a little bit more to get a more even buttercream flow. Again, this is called a tip saver, and it just allows you to open up those tines for a more full rosette. To begin the rosette, we will start by placing our rosette tip, 2D, in the middle of our cupcake, and we will squeeze and twist our wrist around the entire cupcake until we have filled the majority of it up with this rosette design. Let me go into greater detail. So I'm gonna place my tip right above my cupcake, right in the center. And then I'm going to begin piping and swirling to right about there and then end. That is the simplest floral design that you can create. It is simply a rosette and then on the inside, we are going to put some little stamens and some leaves on the outside. So to create the leaves on the outside of this rosette, we're going to use tip number 352, which looks a little bit like a duck bill, but any leaf tip can work. Place that onto the bag with coupler, twist the cap in place, and then for piping, you are going to pipe with the duckbill point against the cupcake and the other one reaching up toward the ceiling. And you are going to find these open spaces and pipe a set of little leaves, just like that. If you wanted to balance it off on the other side, you can with one more. A little wiggle of the wrist gives you a more flowing ruffle leaf. Then using a lighter color in a tiny little number one round tip, we can put our center stamens in place. A few little strings of lighter color give the sensation of the center of a flower. And you don't wanna overdo it because you have that beautiful rosette action already going on. But something very simple right in the center. And if you're not crazy about the break when you finish off your rosette, come back in and put one more leaf detail right there. So that's the first one, a very simple rosette cupcake. Our next cupcake will be a ribbon rose. And the easiest way to start this is to simply pipe a Hershey's Kiss right in the middle of the cupcake. So just a small Hershey's Kiss right in the middle of the cupcake. And then using a 104 tip, we are going to pipe rings around this cupcake. So using the 104 tip, it has a teardrop shape and we wanna make sure that the fat side of the teardrop is against our Hershey's Kiss. And our first 
wrap around Les Hershey's Kiss. We're gonna roll our wrist inward to create something that is very cone shape, like that. And then if your tip gets dirty, just take a minute to clean that off. And then do it again, putting our bottom of our tip close to our Hershey's Kiss. We're gonna do this a few more times. To create the effect of a ribbon rose. Something else you can do is on the outer edges, Begin wiggling your hand back and forth and create short petals instead of going all the way around to create a ribbon effect or a ruffly effect on the bottom of that. And there you have a very full and somewhat ruffly ribbon rose. And if you wanted to highlight this with leaves, you certainly could. And then our final cupcake of the day is going to be something that's more open. I'm going to use the lighter color and you can use a 102 tip, which is a smaller version of the petal tip, or you can use something like this. It has a slight curve to it and it's still a teardrop shape. This is number 60, but that teardrop has a curve to it. And right in the middle of this cupcake, using the turntable, I am going to put the fat end again down around the cupcake bottom edge. And I am going to wiggle this back and forth to create the sensation of a whole bunch of clustered petals. Like that. And then using that 104 tip, I'm going to wrap a petal over that top edge. So I'm up above that ruffly. You can see that it does not meet the bottom of the cupcake. It actually goes up and over to wrap and make the sensation that the ruffles are deeper into the flower. And then continue these shorter petals around your flower to fill it up with an open and very ruffly design on the inside. We're going to finish this off again with a little more leaf action. And there you go another pretty ruffly design. So three super easy floral designs that can be done in just a moment's notice. And voila, there you go.